what's up everybody welcome back to cj's customs we're back again with another video today guys we're going to be working on a box for king ranch f-150 2010 i'm going to take y'all through the steps i'm not going to show you too much but i'm going to show y'all just enough to where if y'all be like hey look i want to build a box so you can do it yourself you know what i mean so i'm going to explain it simple but fast I'm gonna lay this stuff out. Let y'all see how I lay it out. I'm gonna skip the cutting processes because it's pretty much self explanatory. After you've seen my other videos, if not, go back, check them out. Also, go subscribe to my boy Motor King TV channel. I got a little tongue tied right there. But uh, yeah, go check out his channel, man. He got a lot of good content up there. He just recently went to New Orleans and watch the drift uh show i guess you would call it a show i don't know but anyway it'd be drifting and everything he got some footage of that he also he actually got to ride in one going around the course the track no light in here now yeah i ain't turn the power on but uh yeah he went to new orleans got that footage a lot of footage so go check his channel out man Hit that subscribe button, you'll greatly appreciate it. And while you're here, also hit that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm also put his YouTube channel description in the I'm also going to put a link of his YouTube channel in the description below. So just go hit that link, check him out. Man, I'm telling you, he got a lot of good footage. But uh, we're going to get into it, show you a little glimpse of what we're working with right now. Me and my buddy EJ, he's been working on his box. He's been helping me out, get a couple boxes done. He's doing a couple other things, so I greatly appreciate his help. But I also want to thank, shout out, Frank. Yeah, Lee, I'm about to kill myself in here, you know what I mean? Like, for real. But anyway, like I said, I want to shout out Sprayway Customs, man. Because if it wasn't for him, man, he's taking the time. Making the videos, how to fiberglass, how to paint, how to do all this stuff. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. So, Spurway, if you're watching this, man, I greatly appreciate you. I really do. Like, you taught me so much just off your videos. Don't stop making them. Because, man, I'm telling you, every time I watch your video, I learn more and more. And I appreciate it. I really do. But this is what we got so far right now, guys. 4 8 called audio apes show y'all what they look like this is just one this one eight or so weighs about 20 pounds so, yeah. double stack triple stack magnet I'm gonna say double stack tell you man you can work out with the thing you get ripped like a mug for real but yeah, this is where we at on this box. Solid. Yeah, come back, trim all that up right there. I'm gonna have to go back, get all the risen out of there, respray the ports. I use cardboard for the foundation to stiffen it up. But I'm gonna cut all that out of there. I haven't put the terminals in yet. You also go with uh bed liner so it won't be much it won't be hard to do we're gonna show y'all how we do that too but other than that guys let's get into the video all right guys we're back i just got done laying out the bottom of the box and the front of the box and man if i gotta say to myself it's gonna look good i'm telling you wait wait until i turn this camera around you see it because uh it's gonna be crazy. I'm just say this, man. Once you see it, you gonna be like, yeah, that box gonna look, gonna look good. It ain't just gonna look good, it's gonna sound good also. Trust me, watch, watch what I tell you. Had that truck shaking. But yeah, let me turn the camera around. See it, guys? Customer wanted me to put Mr. Green. So all that's gonna be cut out. Yes, it is front of the box. 
It's gonna have plexiglass lit up. The lights gonna change to the music, dancing music, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna be doing be able to do all kinds of stuff. See it? Yep, this is my top, my front face. And that's my bottom. And over there, I gotta lay out my sides for it. I'm gonna try to get everything cut out tonight. You see, it's dark. But get everything cut out tonight. And then tomorrow, be able to seal it, put it together. And hopefully, hopefully, try to bondo it, but I'm trying, that's kind of pushing it. Cause I gotta work tomorrow. Get off work, go home, and then hop to this. So, but anything's possible, you know. It all depends on how much work I want to put in at tomorrow night. But yeah, it's gonna be a crazy build. So y'all actually gonna like see me paint this one. Actual paint, automotive paint. Um, the paint's on here is on its way. So when the paint come in, I'll show y'all the color we're going with. But, right, let me cut y'all back on in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Just get done drilling all my holes. These are my starting points. That's so why I'm gonna start with. The, uh, Man, I feel retarded right now. I really do. Because I can't think of the jigsaw. How dumb am I? Anyway. So, those are my starting points. I got all this done. Next step is to just cut it out now. That's coming along good, guys. Catch y'all back on in a minute. What's up everybody, we're back again. Different day, as you can see, sunny out. And uh, we're about to get going on these bills, man. Like I said, we got this bill going on. I also got my buddy, EJ. He's working on it. Cutting his uh, name out for me. About to do. Try to knock these two out at one time. The paint came in for the box also, so I'm about to show y'all what that look like in a second. Alright guys. I'm show y'all what the paint look like right now. That's a bronze color. And yes, my dumb tail spilled some of it when I was stirring it up. But yeah. This is, I can't show you what brand it is now. <laughs> it, but it's Resto Shop. It's a bronze, as you can see. That's the color the box gonna be. So yeah, it's gonna look really good. When we yeah, so right now, I'm about to sand the fiberglass down. And I'm not gonna take it too far down, but I'm gonna take it down. And then I'm gonna hit it with the Bondo. And get all this spray. Right now, it looks like a mess. Get all that done. Then come with the bondo. Bend that hard up, sand that down. And last step is to add the bed liner on it. Terminals hook up the lights. This box is done. Been a long time coming. So, about to get started. Using C 
360 grit sandpaper. It works good. That's why I prefer to use. It knocks it down pretty good, so. Man, I never honestly realized how hard it is to do stuff with one hand. Try to hold the camera with one and work with the other. All right, I got it knocked down some. You can see the light gray spots in the dark areas, just the high ends and lows. I'm gonna end up sanding it down some more, knock it down some more, and then we're gonna hit it with the bondo. Let's go out here and see what's going on with EJ. Yes, I got my safety glasses on. Cause this fiberglass still getting the eye, man. It ain't even nice. But uh dust my beard. I need a haircut, man. I look like a straight bum. But anyway, show y'all what I got done so far. I trimmed the edges. I still gotta go back and clean this up some more. And this is what it looks like. Going through an ugly phase right now. Really ugly phase. This is what it's looking like though. I got this that's coming off, coming off. So, like I said, it won't be too much longer before we be putting the uh, bed liner on. There's another sticky notification coming through. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all what the other box looking like. The Mr. Green Box. Mr. Green Box, you know? Uh, coming along good, man. That's what happens when you got too many boxes to do field. You ain't gonna have to do it, but you know. That's gonna take a long part right there. Besides painting, well, doing body work on it to paint it, but doing what are you doing right there, cutting the letters out, and that ain't fun. That takes a lot of work and a lot of time. I like the Caprice emblems I put in them, the Lincoln emblems I put in there. It ain't takes a lot of time to do that, but I do it because I like to do it. So that's why I got into doing this. I started out doing it for myself. I wanted to do it for myself. I always wanted to learn. And like I said in the beginning of the video, man, I ain't had nobody teach me. So, got on YouTube, found Sprayway Customs. Go check out his channel. His link will be in the description below. But if it wasn't for him, show me how to glass and all this stuff. Again, I say, man, I wouldn't be doing it. Because nobody still would have taught me. So, that's why I say, man, you do whatever you want to do, just as long as you work at it. It ain't gonna happen to you overnight. You ain't gonna be good at it overnight. I'm still nowhere near good. You know, I'm still learning. I got a lot to learn. But it's coming along good, though. Coming along real good. I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute. Alright, guys. You got Mr. Green cut out. By Mr. EJ. You got it all cut out for me. Looks good. I'm gonna come back with the center and put there on the clutch glass. Can't beat it though. Looks good. Now we're about to get ready to cut it all out. Let's get ready to put it together. That's what all these lines are for. Right there. Hey, Yali.
pretty much got the box sanded down. Almost time for the bondo. It's in an ugly phase right now. It look better just in wood without the top on it. But it's coming on good. Pour it. Yeah, I'll catch y'all back on in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. We got it bundled up. I'm getting a phone call right now. That's what it looks like so far. Tomorrow, we're gonna sand it down. Bed liner, put the terminal in the back. Put the lights up. And put the sign in the front. Let me get this box out of here. I'm tired of looking at it, honestly. But yeah, it's coming along good. Anything you want to say? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. That's going to be it for the night. So, I'll catch y'all back on the morning. All right, guys, we back. Day three. Show y'all what we did. I didn't get the vlog yesterday. That's because I couldn't find my phone, uh, tripod stand, selfie stick, whatever you, think, whatever you want to call this thing. But this is where we at, guys, on the Ford box. Not Mr. Green box, the Ford box. We're going to get to that later on today. But. This is what we look like so far. Yeah, gotta get the lights hooked up in it. It's dirty, gotta wipe it down. But yeah, that's it. Got a speaker terminal. Wire coming through the back for the lights. But it's looking good. I only got two of the subs to make sure the sign fit right, but. Man, I can't wait to hear his play. Four Scar, Scar Audio 8s. Got a little tongue tied there. Yeah, guys, this is it for right now. I'm gonna put y'all back on in a minute once I get the lights hooked up and turned on. And let it play for y'all. All right, guys. Got it all done. As you see, the box is dirty. With a bunch of handprints. Thing it does. I said thing it does with the sensors they make. No, from Bondo. So I got all this from the Bondo. But anyway, so y'all cut it back on when I got the lights put in. So I'm about to turn them on. Let you all see what it looks like. So guys, tell me what y'all think. Pour it lit up. Change of colors. Yeah, it looking good. All right, guys, get the lights off. This is dark as I can get it. But man, it's really looking good. The forest sign really came out good. Looks really good, guys. All right, guys, we're back. We got the box done for the 2017 Ford F-150. The Ford box you seen yesterday. But uh, flip the camera around and let y'all see the truck. And then I'm show y'all what the box look like on the inside of the truck. All right, guys, that's what the truck look like. Nice looking truck. You and I say it, Ford F-150. But this is where the magic happens, right here.
see it. It's flashing. Looking good. Sounds even better. Let me come around front. See if I get a better view of the box itself. Oh, it's dark back here. This is all y'all gonna get. <laughs> but man, when I tell you, it hits. It hits. He had two 12s in here from the start. And I'll beat them two 12s bad. But yeah. The seat's not elevated too much. Can't see that. But yeah. So EJ, what you think about it? A1, baby. So it's EJ Customs. Featuring EJ. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. And sit, stay tuned for the next video, part two of this video, for the Mr. Green Box. We'll be working on it again. I greatly appreciate you. That's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me